Guys, there are some reports going around the league that Juju Smith-Schuster's NFL career could be in serious limbo. Juju has been in the league for six seasons as he was drafted by the Steelers in the second round of the 2017 NFL Draft and after two solid seasons in Pittsburgh playing as a number two to AB, the receiver has since seen his production drop. Smith-Schuster has failed to record 1,000 yards in a season after catching 1,426 yards in 2018. He ended up re-signing with the Steelers on a one-year $8 million deal in 2021 but had his worst season on record after only recording 129 receiving yards in five games. He then tested free agency in 2022 and eventually signed with the Chiefs on a one-year deal worth a little over $10 million. So that's his last two deals, signing on a one-year term each. Juju has also had his own fair share of controversies. In 2020, he began trolling opposing teams during pregame with TikTok dances on team logos to the point where the receiver received the nickname TikTok Boy. However, now the 26-year-old receiver who just came off winning a Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs signed a three-year $33 million deal with the New England Patriots as they got rid of Jacoby Myers. However, now according to NFL insider Albert Breer, he is on record stating that Juju's knee can explode at any time. And this is pretty shocking to hear considering the receiver would have had to undergone a medical with the Patriots a few months back. Anyways, take a listen to what Breer had to say about the situation because this is pretty alarming for New England just days before the kickstart of the season. Then a receiver, the like underrated story here, Juju Smith-Schuster's knee is a mess. Mm -hmm. And that thing could explode at any point. And so you almost have to keep an extra receiver in you almost have to keep an extra receiver because of that so i just like look at all of this and it's like where are you going to find the spot for the extra kicker now smith schuster has gone on record saying his knee is okay but what do you expect him to say that it's not the receiver said he did not think his knee was a ticking time bomb but in fact was getting stronger by the day he's been a full participant in training camp and even played sparingly in the preseason but that said, it's hard to ignore the 26-year-old's injury track record. He's only played in 16 games three times since entering the league. Anyways, this is the knee injury I believe that he sustained in last year's AFC Championship game against the Bengals that forced him to leave the game in the third quarter. Breer didn't exactly give details on what caused Juju's knee to be a mess, but it likely has to something to do with the delay he suffered in the rehab process this offseason. That said, this has to be a concern for the Patriots offense. They're going into the season with three main receivers in Juju, Devontae Parker, and Kendrick Bourne, but this news could really see others in the depth chart called upon if there are really issues with Juju Smith-Schuster's knees.